Hi, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, just wanted to let you know I think I may have found a way to get around the limitation of the MATLAB uh, coder toolbox. Um, the problem is, is that um, after my experimental um, usage with the tool, uh, the coder toolbox is a, a very big limitation on what it supports in terms of some of the other MATLAB toolboxes. I may have figured a way to get around that, and I'm hoping I'm uh, correct on this. Uh, if you haven't yet seen the MATLAB coder videos that I put out on this QuantLabs Net um, channel, I'd encourage you to do so. Um, but I just want to show you something that I may have found a way to get around it um, with a bit of work. Right now, what you're looking at is the uh, set of download files from the um, co-integration webinar I'm using as a base to build out a new set of um, code for a, a strategy I plan to use. So this right here is the code um, that you can get for that particular webinar um, and I'm sure you can figure that out. But there's two demos that are used. Um, in my case I'm just going to look at uh, this uh, demo one CI webinar okay um, and uh, let me just navigate to my folder so here's the files okay so if I do a demo or if I edit one of these um, this let's say this particular one um, there's there's some functions within MATLAB that I know are for sure uh, supported by the MATLAB coder which is this little GUI right here um, in this case, I'm doing a MEX file, but again, you know, in the settings, you can set it to uh, C++, uh, have it bang out C++, C, whatever. I've shown you how to do that. Um, so let me get back to uh, that file I was just showing you. Okay, so we, we're back at our demo one, and then we have some what I call MATLAB core functions, a zeros, um, min, min, max, uh, even size, that's a MATLAB core function, okay? Um, that's just core, that's not coming from a MATLAB toolbox, but then you get other functions within MATLAB that are from, I guess, MATLAB supported functions. So in this case we have EGCI test. Well, let's look up what does that mean? Um, I kind of know what it is. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, it's an Engel Granger co integration test. Um, just to see if uh, two time series are, are um, or if a series is, is actually uh, has co integration to it. So if I ran the coder or the this M script demo CI webinar against the coder, it's going to fail because this is not supported, which is part of the economic metrics toolbox but as I said I know that the um, functions like size zeros because they're MATLAB core those are supported in the MATLAB coder process when I convert it into C++ or C but this one's not supported so what do you do well um, I've shown you you could use the J or the builder any or builder uh, Java um, toolboxes to get around that. But if you still want to convert this code from this MATLAB M file to C++, there is a way to get around that. And here it is. You can open and view the source code. Okay? This is the power of MATLAB. When they say it, they don't want to have certain things transparent within MATLAB, they mean it. Um, so now you have a source code to this EGCI test. There's many ways you can go around it. I mean, if you go through the source code, first of all, one thing I like about MATLAB is the documentation is amazing. But this 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 set of comments are, I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's it's from this this help file. Um, but let's go back to MATLAB. All right. So let's start looking for some other third-party um, uh, toolbox functions that are not MATLAB core. Um, maybe this one. Maybe uh, error, message, um, 
these are obviously variables. Min, I know, or any, um, are part of the um, MATLAB co uh, core. Okay. So as you go through the, the this particular function, looking at the source of it, this might be another questionable one, right? And you know, there, there's there's certain ways you can get the source code for that. So, um, you know, this is another questionable uh, um, source uh, M script uh, um, that maybe is part of the core for MATLAB, which is not part of a toolbox like this economic metrics toolbox. So, in essence, um, some functions may be supported by the coder, um, but this one for sure is not. So what you could do is you could either uh, maybe add this particular file, this particular M script, to your coder process when you come into the GUI for the coder and just add the file and navigate to this guy right here, this EGCI test, um, and run it and see what would happen. I'm not going to do that because it's going to be a very grueling process. But what I'm saying, though, is, is that there is a way you may be able to get around the limitation of third-party uh, toolboxes that are not supported by the um, MATLAB coder toolbox. So because you have a source code, you now may be able, as I said, be able to add that file. Now, I said there's a number of options you might be able to use. So as I said, you could just add this EGCI test M script file to, this ad, to, to the coder process here, or you could save this version of this and, and add it to your collection of quote unquote modified um, MATLAB toolbox functions and then you have your own version of it and you hack it until you can get it to a level where you can add it and have it actually still get it converted into and using the coder toolbox so in essence that you may be able to find a way to use this function and still be able to convert it into C++. That is the power of MATLAB. Now again I must emphasize that this is probably the only platform that I've seen that enables you to convert these functions, MATLAB functions, into C++. I've shown you videos on that. You should kind of be confident that it can be done. But now there are maybe ways we can get beyond the limitation of something like the economic metrics toolbox which is not supported under the uh, coder toolbox there may be a way to get around that and that is again and I've said it probably enough times in this little video that you can add this file and then hack it to a point where you can get it running and then it processed in the conversion in in the coder I think that's really cool um, but depending upon if you're really um, wanting to get the strategy coded up in C++ I, there, there, I'm sure there's a way to get around it um, and that is a power of MATLAB uh, I don't work for MATLAB or MathWorks or whatever I'm just showing you what I'm seeing to make life easier for you so you can build up your, your own strategies and connect it to whatever platforms you want um, so there you go I'm hoping that will help you out